I have to say I've never had so many comments on a channel, well my channel in particular, about a particular group called Today's Guests are called Blink 102 and that's who I'm referencing. They've come out with a new album one more time and somebody said the self-titled track has to be on your channel if you if you want to make it big. So I looked into the group and I thought okay I don't know much about them. Legions of fans out there you'll help me along but I'm going to give a bio to all my international um, subscribers because they are an American rock band formed in Poway, California in 92. The current and best known lineup consists of basic sorry bassist vocalist Mark Hoppus, guitarist vocalist Tom Delange and drummer Travis Barker. After years of independent recording and touring including stints of the Warp Tour, the group signed to MCA Records. The biggest albums, Anemia of the State, that was in 99, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, 2001, saw considerable international success. Songs like All the Small Things, Damn It, I Miss You and What's My Age Again became hit singles and MTV staples. Later efforts include an untitled album in 2003, marked Stylistic Shifts. Hoppers is the only member to remain in the band throughout its entire history. Delange left the group twice, both times a decade apart, before eventually returning. Founding drummer Scott Rayner recorded and toured with the group before being dismissed in 98, with Barker taking his place from that point on. From 15 to 22, the band in included Al Alkaline Trio singer-guitarist Matt Skiba, with whom they recorded two albums, California 2016 and 9 2019 respectively, and toured in support of both. Their ninth album, One More Time, is set to, to be released and has been released from October of this year, 2023, which is why I've had lots of comments in, in other people's uh, sections saying please please review it and I certainly will and I'm looking forward to it the, the lyrics are very interesting to me I've got a bio and I'll cross over and I'll do all of that straight after to give you an, an in-depth account of this comeback single now Blink's 182 straightforward approach and simple arrangements which is good to know which helped initiate pop punk's second mainstream rise which I didn't know about made them popular amongst generations of listeners worldwide the group has sold 50 million albums and moved 15.3 million copies in the United States alone. What is today's song of their new album? Well, first of all, it was unveiled their new song One More Time was directed by Carlos Lopez Estrada, as well as a lyric video for the single More Than You Know. Both songs featured in the band's and will be featured in the band's One More Time um, EP. Now that will be released by Columbia Records. The album marks the return of the group's classic lineup featuring Mark Hoppus, bass, vocals, Tom Delange, guitar, vocals, Travis Barker, drums for the first time since 2011. Welcome back boys. You are by God in, in popular demand already and I'm looking forward because this is honestly my first time hearing this song in, in its entirety and what I tend to do is I study the lyrics of any song I'm going to do and kind of break it down in my head and I just have it all ready let's see if the song correlates with what I've done I hope it does justice to the Blink-182 fans that have been telling me to do that this song its existence has been known since December 22 when drummer Travis Barker was asked What's his favourite Blink song? He answered, one more time. An unknown song at that moment. And in July 23, Travis again claimed, one more time, his favourite Blink song when answering questions with his daughter, Alabama. In August 23, the band shared pictures of a recording music video for an upcoming single on one of the shots, OMT. It could be read on the clapperboard I think it says referring to one more time a few days later a snippet of the main song was released on a store page on Blink's website and the clip showed some BTS shots of shooting the video clip as well as some moments of 
the world tour ending with the band manning to their fans stay tuned well you don't need to stay tuned because here it is for the first time never mind <laughs> never mind one more time and it is well my first time with this band and this single i'm looking forward let's get going <laughs> Strangers, from strangers into brothers, from brothers into strangers once again. We saw the whole world, but I couldn't see the meaning. I couldn't even recognize my friends. They told us it shouldn't take a sickness or airplanes falling out the sky. Do I have to die to hear you miss me? Do I have to die to hear you say goodbye? I don't want to act like there is tomorrow. Time. I miss you Took time but I admit it It still hurts even after all these years And I know that next time Ain't always gonna happen I gotta say I love you while we're here Do I have to die to hear you miss me? You know guys it's the first time and I raised my hand to this and I swear to you I've heard off you through your fans on my channel that is the first time I've listened to you ever and it's my first time to say good God I haven't lived a musical life at all if I've overlooked you by the blink of an eye you're now on my channel but wow I loved it I loved it. I feel there's a sense of loss there, but we'll, you know, the song This One More Time by Blink appears to revolve around, to me, the theme of loss and the inability to let go of a past relationship. The lyrics that I've read evoke a sense of longing and regret emphasizing the pain that remains even after a significant amount of time has passed. Now in the verses, Mark Hoppus reflects on the unpredictability and the fragility of life. And you've seen that with the reflections of going back 
to Blink's earlier days. A bit reminiscent of Mick Jagger's comeback with the Angry Song and the lads and just seeing them reflect back and forth in the, the post. It was very cleverly done, the video. I'm sure you have seen it if you're um, fans of the group. And just, you had that flashback moments and the grandmother sitting, which I thought was sweet, kissing the baby, all of that. So I seen that, you know, life is so fragile. You look back in life, you look forward to whatever's ahead of you with trepidation, of course, and with, with, but at least we're here for a reason. We all have a life and if we're able-bodied, we can enjoy it as, uh, the best way we can. But in the verses, Mark reflects on that, suggesting that it shouldn't take a tragedy or a near-death experience to realize the importance of cherishing meaningful relationships. Here, here. It took me, I had two. I had a mishap in between, uh, psychopathic narcissist, really, to the extreme, violence as well in nature. But the first of my current relationship are meaningful. And it's like karma came around to say, you've got it back, treasure it, and I do. And in this song, this highlights the desire for greater communication and emotional connection. It does because, do you know how many people since COVID have broken down that barrier of communication and have lost the art form? And I have seen it as I've grown up with Blink, as in when they started their career to now. I've been, I've been there with the guys through the decades, and I'm sure... Blink reflects on that. People have lost the art form of sitting and communicating, even having a coffee. I go for many coffees, I walk my dog, and I cannot get over how many people are locked into their phones, don't look up, don't notice what's going on around them, have their coffee and walk away. And I find it very disparaging and, and, and quite sad. So, and for me, there's a desire to always speak to people but I never always get that, and it's a pity. So let's go into the actual lyrics itself. Verse one says, strangers from strangers into brothers, from brothers into strangers once again. We saw the whole world, but I couldn't see the meaning. I couldn't even recognize my friends, and I think that emphasizes that point there clearly. Because in verse two, we've got older, but nothing's any different. Right now feels the same. I wonder why. I wish they told us it shouldn't take a sickness or airplanes falling out of the sky. Now, my meaning and my take up of that is the you know the chorus delves into the frustration of not feeling valued or missed until it's too late. And the line "Do I have to die to hear you miss me?" suggests the longing for acknowledgement and closure. The repetition of the phrase one more time conveys the plea to escape the cycle of pain and wanting things to be different. So we go into the next, which is the pre-chorus where it says, do I have to, which emphasizes this point, do I have to die to hear you miss me? Do I have to die to hear you say goodbye? I don't want to act like this tomorrow. I don't want to wait to do this one more time. So one more time, one more time, one more time is repeated. And in verse three it says, I miss you, took time, but I admit it. It still hurts after all of these years. So it really does convey that sense of a lost relationship. And I know that next time ain't always going to happen, it continues. I gotta say I love you whilst we're here. How many people have, the only, the only way I, I can phrase this is, if somebody has died and you haven't said you haven't gotten to the hospital or the place of rest in time to say I love you they are so important and we don't say it enough even though I see couples holding hands and going around they seem to be strangers in the relationship there's no communication as this song talks about there's going to be a lot of regrets. I remember my mother saying to one of my sisters when she initially got married and she was settled and, and, and everything, you haven't been on holiday. 
and she went no we're doing this we're doing you know he's busy and my sister was always referring to how busy the husband was and she said and you haven't been to the cinema since you got married and you haven't gone out and you have no we're saving for a city or a revamped kitchen and it's very important and my mother said this how do you think I have a successful marriage with your father and my sister said because you love each other yes love is everything but how do you think that we have a successful marriage we communicate we do things together we plan one day a week for us we always did even when you were uh, like children we'd go out we'd socialize as a couple your father would sit at the bar he'd always be uh, because I was the the talkative one and he would be quietly at the bar but then he'd get talking and but it was the point of going out together and doing things together you've got to communicate you've got to be that couple and, and surround yourself with interests not just your own but together and it's something I often reflect on and, it, and those lines I don't want to act like there's tomorrow I don't want to wait to do this one more time it's very reflective of what my mother was trying to teach my sister you really need to not look back in regret and you will if you don't become as one think as one act like one and not have this separation that, that I see. You, you need to do more of together things. And that means talking to each other. What do you like? What do I like? Not just going on holiday. She was dismayed by it. And I have to say, these, this particular song and lyrics strikes poignancy with me when I, when I look back at what my mother used to say. Because there is that frustration of not feeling valued and missing things until it's too late within the song because just like what i've said it's almost like my mother speaking do i have to die to hear you miss me you does it take you not to be around to realize oops i should have done this or i should have done that or i should have been here or should? you don't want that and it you know the whole song as i said before conveys a plea to escape the cycle of pain and wanting things to be different if you want things to be different make it happen look at me trinity college top university within ireland well paid had the pension had everything gave it up to do this i didn't want to live in regrets i've wrote three books i've done this i wanted my life to be creative and different and it has become but it takes you to be brave sometimes people said i was stupid now with the success of the channel, we're not saying I'm stupid anymore. It just took me to believe in myself, believe in yourself to make things different. And positivity will come out of that. I couldn't be happier working for myself. Now the post chorus in this song, shared between Tom, Mark and Travis, further emphasizes the desire for another chance to relive or reconcile the past. The repetition of one more time as it repeats in, in the song, in this section suggests a longing to recreate the positive moments shared with the person being addressed now they address quite a few in this video quite a few family members and everything so one more time for me as a summary explores the lingering emotions and regrets associated with lost connections and that's verbal everybody simple as that expressing the desire for validation hey i exist but how will they know if you exist if you don't communicate about it and you say to them i'm a bit pissed you know you you, you don't really recognize them here well speak sit down talk and the reconciliation and that reconciliation will happen and the opportunity to make amends will occur to your life to your relationship to everything around you before it's too late that's my summary and you will have that one more time one more time to live if you don't so that's my summary of those lyrics and this powerful song welcome to my channel welcome back blink and, and guys the original lineup 
<sighs> that album's going to be a number one, and I'm looking forward to reacting soon to number two on the album. Take care. Till then.